Hello. The first simple machine that we'll be learning about is the lever. In this video, we'll talk a little bit about what the lever does, and then we'll learn how to calculate the mechanical advantage of a lever. Let's say I wanted to lift this practice amp up to the height of this stool. I could lift it straight up and set it on the stool. The amount of work that I did to lift the practice amp up is equal to the amount of potential energy that it now has on the stool. Well, let's say that this amp was too heavy for me to lift. I could use a simple machine in the form of a lever in order to make it easier. So I have a carabiner here that'll hook on to the handle of the amp. The lever itself is a plank of wood, and the fulcrum that I'm using is a chair. I'll come over here, and I will push down on this side of the lever. My side of the lever is called the input side. It's the, side, it's the force that I'm putting into the machine. The output side is where the amp is. So I'm going to lift it. And now the force that I have to apply to lift the amp is much less than what the amp weighs. But you'll notice that there is a trade-off here. Although the force that I am required to push down is a lot less, the distance that I have to apply that force over is much greater. Notice the distance, notice the difference in distance between how far the amp is moving and how far I am pushing up and down. In both cases, the amount of work is the same. I am doing the same amount of work on my end as the lever is doing work on the other end. What's different is I'm applying a smaller force over a greater distance, where the lever is applying a greater force over a smaller distance. This is because energy has to be conserved. Now let's look at how we calculate the mechanical advantage of a lever. In order to calculate the mechanical advantage of a lever, we need to know two things about the lever. We need to know the input length, that is how far is it from the fulcrum to where you're pushing, and how far is it from the load, or in this case the amp, to where the fulcrum is. So I have a tape measure here. I will measure uh, the input and output arm. So first, the input. That's about 36 inches. The output arm is about 10 inches. Let's look at how we can calculate the mechanical advantage. So we said L input, remember that's the distance that I'm uh, putting into it. That was 36 inches. The output length, or the length of the fulcrum to the load, was 10 inches. If we plug it into our mechanical advantage formula, what we'll get, mechanical advantage, is equal to 36 inches divided by 10 inches. Notice that our units cancel out here. Mechanical advantage is a unitless number. We divide these two numbers together, we get a mechanical advantage of 3.6. That means that because of the way I had my lever set up, it was 3.6 times easier to lift the amp, although I lifted the amp over a shorter distance. So if we look at this equation down here, we see that a greater force is applied over a smaller distance. That is the amp side of my lever. This side of the equation describes what I was doing, a smaller force 
over a greater distance. This side of the lever has to move over a greater distance than the other side with the amp on. 